Girls, and welcome to Storytime with me, Nancy Golden. Today, I'm not going to tell a story. I'm going to teach you some educational concepts that will just help to build your vocabulary. But before we begin, you know, we start with our song, a song that helps us to remember that we must love ourselves no matter what. I like me. How do you feel today? Do you feel good? Do you love yourself? Do you like yourself? Extend your arms and wrap them around yourself and squeeze yourself real tight and say, oh, I like me. Ah, doesn't that feel good? All right, you ready to start our song? Thumbs up, point to your chest, and let's begin. I like me, no matter what you say, no matter what you do. I like me anyway, oh yeah, I like me. No matter what you say, no matter what you do, I like me, do you like you? They laugh at how I walk, they laugh at how I talk, they give me funny looks, I could surely write a book, oh yeah. I like me, no matter what you say, no matter what you do, I like me anyway, oh yeah. I like me, no matter what you say, no matter what you do, I like me, do you like you? No matter what you do, I like me, do you like you? No matter what you do, I like me. Do you like you? Great. Don't you feel better? Oh, I know I do. Now, today, we're going to talk about word endings. I have a word ending. Now, you're three, four, five, or six years old. This is called a suffix, but don't worry about that. For now, call it a word ending, T-I-O-N. It's not a word. These are letters that we put together to make the sound of shun. T-I-O-N makes the sound of shun. Now, when you add T-I-O-N to other letters in a word, it changes its meaning, it gives it more definitions, more defined, and guess what? It's added so that you can just read big words. Some words that end in T-I-O-N are real big words like imagination, right? Or dedication. But then there are some words that are smaller words like notion. Either way, they all end in T-I-O-N. No matter what, whenever you see that sound, those letters, it makes that sound and it never changes. Now there are some words that end in S-I-O-N. It makes the same sound, shun. But today, we're only going to focus on those words that end in T-I-O-N. As you know, words are important. We need words because that's how we communicate. Words are in books. Words are in the playground. Words are on walls, on, in the grocery store, in the doctor's office. Everywhere you go, there's words. So what I want you to do now is look for all of the words that end in shun, T. I-O-N. Okay? Just remember that, that, that those letters put together make the shun sound. What sound? Very good. You're so smart. Shun. Tell the ceiling. Shun. Tell the floor. Shun. Tell the wall. Shun. Tell the door. Shun. T-I-O-N. Okay? Then we're going to play a little game and I'm going to sort of tell the story. Ring! Hello. Yes, my dear. Really? I'd love to help. Okay. Bye-bye. That was my daughter and she called me on the phone to have a converse. What's that sound? Shun. Conversation. She wanted to talk to me because my grandson's birthday is coming up and she needs my help. I said, oh, of course I'll help. I'm going to take my gloves off because now I have to show more words. And oh, my goodness, look at my hands. They're a little dry. <gasps> so I now need some lotion. There you go. Lotion. Even if you can't read the word, you know, T-I-O-N at the end of these words sounds like what? Shun. I need some lotion for my dry hands. Let me put the lotion Okay, so now remember my daughter called, we had a conversation, and she wants me to help with my grandson's birthday party. So I have a thought, 
<laughs> I have a no shun. Yes, see, you already know big word. I have a notion and have an idea. I think in order for us to have a birthday, go celebrate. Shun, see, that's a big word. Celebration. For us to have a celebration, I think I need to send out to every child a what? A invitation. See, you already know. Invitation. You don't have to worry about these words, these letters. Just focus on this sound. Invitation. So I'm going to send each child an invitation. And I think once I send the invitations, the room, I may have to what? Put up decoration. Yes, I have to put up decoration so the room will be nice. I think I'm going to put up some stars on the walls and uh, I'll have beautiful napkins to go on the table. And uh, let's see, um, how about this? Nice birthday candles for the celebration. Look, look at the words you've learned ending in shun already. And you can read the last part of the word because T-I-O-N makes the sound of what? Shun. Absolutely. So when we have the celebration, I'm going to give every child one of these. And we'll sing a happy birthday and we'll light the candle. And guess what else? I, I'm going to give them these little light up wrist bracelets and they light up and show all kinds of blue colors. Oh, we're going to have fun at this celebration. So basically, that's it. You have learned today that T-I-O-M at the end of a word makes the sound of shun. So what I want you to do is walk around with mom and dad and everywhere you go and every book that you read and every magazine that you may look over, find a shun word and say, mommy, mommy, daddy, daddy, here's a shun word. And they'll look at the word and they'll pronounce it, but they won't have to tell you what the ending sounds like because you already know T-I-O-N makes the sound of shun. You are so, so smart. So now that ends our story time for today. And you know, before I go, we have to sing our favorite song about reading books. Did you read your book today? Did you read one or two? Two books? Great. Okay, so let's try our in, right, out, right song. Ready? I'm in, right, out, right, up, right, down, right, happy all the time. I'm in, right, out, right, up, right, down, right, happy all the time. I read a book each day and then I go and play. I'm in, right, out, right, up, right, down, right, happy all the time. Wonderful. And remember, to tell your mom and dad about my book, Skin Color, Cookie Color, Sugary Sweet to Me, and I Don't Know Why, which can be purchased at my website. So you go on with your shun words. I'm so proud of you. Until next time, have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Bye-bye.